Now what I've done first is taken and cut the wire in half. So this is 18 inches now. This is 532 piano wire. First thing I'm going to do is load the code. And I have uh, previously bent this so I have the codes on hand. And now what I have is a 90 degree code. So if I load this in the, to the machine here and put it up against, I do have a mark on the mandrel so that I know where to stop it. And hit the start button. We're going to start bending. This is going to bend it to 90 degrees and stop and then back up and let me take the wire out. And there I have a 90 degree bend. Now the machine's automatically going to start the next bend. So the idea is for me to load and unload the machine one wire behind the other. So I bring it up to the mark on the mandrel. Just hold it in position. You can do it with one finger. And then it bends it. I grab the next wire. Go take this one out there. Load the next one. Put it up against where the mark is. I can hold it with one finger. And it will bend it. The next bend that I'm going to make is going to be this one down here, which is again a 90 degree bend. So I've set the fixture up. I'm still using the same code that I used to bend this one. And now I'm going to start the next step and bend that, that wire. So I'll load it in the fixture and start the code. All I'm doing is pulling the wire back against the stop. So once I put it in, slide it under and push it back. That actually goes pretty quick. to get behind, I can just skip a cycle. Like that. The machine doesn't know whether there's wire in there or not. It really doesn't care. The next bend is going to be the slide offset here. And I've set the fixture up already. And I'm actually going to be using a block to make sure that this stays vertical whenever I put in the, that uh, offset. And now I'm going to load the code for that offset, which will be this one here. And now what I'll need to do is load the, the wire, and they'll load somewhat like I've been doing, but it will stand vertical. And then set in this fixture here, which is holding the wire straight up and down for the bends. So now we'll start. Now you can see I put a slight offset into that bin. And again, the, the uh, vendor doesn't care if there's a wire in there or not, it's going to make the bins. And if I not quick enough, I can just let it go through and make it bend and then come back and catch it on the next one. So far I've done the first bend, the second bend, the offset, and now we're up to the third bend. So we're going to start the code. And we're on the way.
I'm using the same code as I did for this pin here. So I'm going to start the machine and load it. I have a set of marks over here. All I'm doing is lining up on the mark. 